<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. In this video, I will briefly explain about tools in Corel Draw 2017. As you see, down to menu bar, there are some icons which are different tools. Let me explain one by one. As you see, this icon is a sign with a plus. This means start a new document. And next to that, there is open an existing document by browsing the folder where the document is located. You can access this one, go to file and open. There is a shortcut key for open, control plus N. And next to that, this is the floppy drive for save. And next to that, there is a print. And next there is cut copy paste as you see this is this not clickable as I have nothing here when I have something here then this will be visible and clickable and this is for undo cancel the previous action and redo this is search content this you can search uh, for any setting or something which is available on the website of Coral and next to that this is down arrow sign means import shortcut key of import is control plus i next to that is export next to that is pdf if you want to any make any document and want to publish that in the pdf file then just click here that will be published into pdf and this 30, uh, 37 percent is the screen size let i zoom out that is reduced if I zoom in it is increasing and next to that is full screen and next to that there is show ruler these are the rulers if you want to show just uncheck these are hide click again available next to that there is show grid and show guideline and snap to next to that there is a option uh, for this is for the setting of this the main interface page workspace page this is launch this will be launch uh, other coral application as you see there is a coral capture coral connect coral font manager coral photo paint and coral draw and down to there there is a setting of letter as I discuss in my first video this is the size of this document you can change from here any one any letter you want letter envelope full screen web banner and something which you want next to that there is size this is the width 8.5 inches and this is the height 11 inches next to that there is portrait and next to that landscape this is for mean to showing all pages and this is just for current pages as if there are the uh, width and height you can set from here inches as you can set as pixel millimeters centimeters miles yard and etc now come to this side on the left side as you see there are different icons this is a pick tool for example if you have any object if you want to move from here just like the pick tool and move object anywhere you want and down to that there is a shape tool shortcut of this F10 this is the main important tool in the coral draw for making any object like as you said select this shape tool you see there is a node appear on the four corner like hold this this will be curved this is straight rectangle if you click that small arrow there will be more different options like this is smooth smear drill attract repel 
I will explain this in my alt in my alt tutorial one by one. Let me show you what this is drill. Just click there and hold the left click. This is drill. Anywhere you can click and hold. This makes product great. This is a great usage of making any logo or anything and down to that there is a crop tool if you want to crop anything just like this one this is the zoom tool this is free hand tool what you want to write anything this is a free tool and this is the artistic media tool it's also like a free tool but this will be in a bold style see and there is a rectangle tool and there is you see a small arrow there you can see rectangle and three point rectangle same like their clips circle tool and point clips polygon there you see a star complex star graph paper sprill there are basic some shapes arrow something like this one and then this is a text tab tool down to that arrow in you click there is a table this is parallel dimension this use for dimensions this is straight line connectors I will explain this in details as you see there are the four this if you click there there is a drop shadow contour blend distort envelop extrude 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 is used for making 3d I will explain this in details and this is transparency tools this is making for any object like a 3d 3d button or something this is the main tool for making any 3d any transparent project uh, transparent object you want to make use this tool transparency tool next to that there is eyedropper tool down to that there is interactive fill this for using any filling um, keep watching and subscribe to my channel for upcoming more tutorials for now bye and take care